Hey, my sweets, my sweets. Okay, so I'm back with another video. So on this video, we are going to be making um, purple candy apples. So I got my little portable eye, got my pot, my one cup measuring cup, got my K roll syrup, my thermometer, spatula. I got my um, gold glitter so I can uh, do some splats on the apples. I have the um, apple toppers that I cut out for the uh, kids' schools. I got this purple. This is the purple I'm going for. But I got my um, violet that I'm probably going to start with. You know, I get these at um, Hobby Lobby when they go on sale. <clears throat> like 40, 50% off. But it's $6.99. That's the only time I get those is when they on sale. I got my sugar. I got my hammer. I got my um, straws, my sticks, and my apples are already cleaned and um, dried. So, oh, and I got my mat, my trusty Dollar Tree mat. So, let's jump right on into the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave your comments down below. And let's jump right on into the video, guys. Okay, for starters, we're going to go ahead on and put our sticks in our apples so they can sit and be dry and not bubbling apple juice. Okay, so I got everything pretty much out of you all's way. So what I do, I take my sticks. Before I even do my mix, I put my sticks in. So they can go ahead and sit. And that kind of helps um, when you dip your apples, you don't have those bubbles at the very top. Okay, so for the uh, straws, I don't hammer them in right away. I set them right on the sticks. And right before my mix reaches 300 degrees, then I hammer them down. Because these are paper straws. So, if you put them inside the juicy apple, what's going to happen to your paper straws? They're going to become soggy. So, I, I do that at the very last minute before I dip. So, I just set them right on top of the sticks. Get them on out the way. Get them on out the way. And we, um, I hammer them down right before I dip. I also cut them right before I dip too. So that last little minute before your mix reaches 300 degrees, like I said in the previous video, that 300 degrees spikes up pretty fast. So you have to keep an eye on it. So the, what I do to make sure I keep an eye on my mix at that last moment is you know, I keep myself around the mix. So I'm doing the um, straw, uh, the straws and I'm cutting them down to size and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm right by my mix as it shoots to 300 degrees. Again, my recipe is four cups of sugar, one cup of K-Roll, two cups of water. Let me make sure you guys can see. Okay. Okay, 
So we're doing four cups of sugar. Done with the sugar. We can go ahead and get that put back up. I like the clean while I uh, work. I do not like a nasty kitchen or house. Just FYI. Okay, then we do one cup of the corn syrup. Okay, put this up. And I'm coming back with my two cups of water. It's one. Okay, now we start mixing. Let me bring you guys over with me. Okay, you see it's the water on top. I like to mix it until it's all blended in before I even turn my heat on. To get that separation out. I like everything mixed well. Nothing separated before I even turn that heat on. Because once you turn the heat on, you can't mess with it no more. Unless you want clumpy apples. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. And if it's something else you want me to do, um, just let me know down in the comments. Like I said, um, what you see me do is what I do. There is nothing behind the scenes of what I do. No gimmicks. You see how it's blending? It's not as separated. You just got to be patient with it. And this is before you even turn the heat on. Okay. And we make sure we scrape those sides. Okay. Now we add our thermometer.
Okay. Now I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to turn it on to... In between three and four. Hope you guys can see it. Between three and four. And I check back as that temperature rises. Well, let me put this camera down. So I'll come back as the temperature rises, guys. Okay, family. I forget. I always use my little... Spatula. I got this from Dollar Tree too. This little uh, barbecue sauce spatula thing that I use. I always brush the sides throughout this process to get all the sugar from the sides. So it won't crystallize. Because it will ruin your candy apple mix. I forgot y'all had to come back and tell y'all. Like I said, I don't leave anything out. The end product, always what you see before it, I give you the raw, uncut. Now, I got it up. It's on in between three and four. It's where it said. I just turned it on. So, we're going to let this mix cook. And I'll be back to you once we get to 250. Okay, family, we are almost to the 250 mark. This is what I use in my um my um gold and silver paints. Well, it's a lot of colors. But in my paints, this is what I use because you need something fast drying. Um, or you could use, what's that other one? Um, it's like 90 proof. And this right here is only 80 proof. But I think, I'm going to find out the name of it. I'm going to let y'all know in the next video. But this Amsterdam is what I use in my paints. I need to get some more, as y'all can see. That's the paints. It don't take nothing but a little liquid. And when I say a little liquid, it only takes a little, like a couple of drops. Couple of drops, mix. If it feels like you need a little bit more, add a couple of more drops. I always start small because it don't take a lot. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys my white. I will be using a little bit of white in this one, in this purple that I'm uh, trying to do. So, you know, in 250 degrees, that's where I like to add my uh, coloring or whatever I would like to add to my apples. I always add it at 250 degrees because at 250 degrees, you have a rumbling bowl. You see, we're at 250 degrees. And I will start adding my um, my coloring in. Try to see it so y'all can see. I hope y'all can see, cause y'all know I don't be doing the videos. I'm just starting it to do the videos. I normally just show the pro end product. Okay. So we're going to go in with our white first. Make sure you shake your colors to death. Oh, the uh, colors I've been using like the whole time that I've done them, 
It's just little water-based colorings that you uh, color your eggs with. You can use that in your candy mix. That's the cheapest one. So I always have those on standby. But when it's a sale at Hobby Lobby, I go get these big containers. Only if it's a sale. Now, when I squeeze my bottles, I um, I barely squeeze. Because I can't tell you how many drops to do because I don't do mine in drops. I uh, barely squeeze it and twirl it around. That's all I do. And see that rumbling boil always makes them colors good for me. Now, say for instance, you're doing all white apples. What I normally do with my all white apples, because when you cook candy, it's going to turn that little beige color because you're cooking candy. But for my all white apples, I add more white. So when I say I squeeze a little for any other color, for uh, white, I always um, use this bright white. That's number one. And number two, I squeeze a little bit firmer so uh, some more can come out, extra can come out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my violet. See, that white comes out. And I still press lightly. Ain't nothing changed. Still press lightly. Just that valley kind of thicker. That white uh, kind of thin. Now, if this don't give me the purple that I'm looking for, I can always go back to my handy dandy uh, little food coloring. You know the little box you get like at the little grocery store. Now, look at that uh, mix. The boil back up. And it's rumbling and tumbling. Mixing the color. I do not stir my color in. And you see it's getting deeper and deeper. Okay, so I knew the time was going to really, really be rolling, y'all. So I had already did my straws, but I saved one for you guys. So I can show you how, how it is I do it. Which is just easy peasy, but I don't mind showing you. Why the mix continue to boil. Okay. So like I said, I always do my sticks before my um, candy batch start cooking. And then I just slide my straws on top. Once my mix get to 250, I add my colorings and I uh, <clears throat> hammer down my straws. And it don't take much because they paper straws. So you just tap, that's it. That's all it takes. When y'all see me walk away, it's because I'm putting stuff up. And it's in there. It ain't going nowhere. Now, what I normally do when I do all my apples, I cut one. And I look in it. And I want it as close to the uh, brown stick that's under there as possible. When I achieve that, I take my first piece and I go to each apple. I hold it next to the apple and I cut. Hold it to the next apple and I cut. I use this as my template, so to speak. 
my guide. They weigh all my apples the same. As far as the sticks. Okay, I'm finished with these. Let me put these up. Almost time to start dipping. We almost at 275. Like I told you, once it hit 250, it just lagged behind for a while, but you gotta keep up with it. Hold on, y'all. Let me uh turn some lights on for y'all so y'all can see this purple. That's what it's giving right now. It's kind of cute, but I wanted a little bit more darker. So, yes, I'm going to go in with my um, handy-dandy um, food coloring. And I'm not going to use a lot. I just want to darken it up just a bit. That's it. Okay, guys. So, I will be back when it reaches at 300 degrees. Uh, the darker purple I put in, it's going to mix just like you saw the other ones. The bubble's going to take care of for me. So, i see you guys shortly. Okay, I'm back. I got my little handy dandy silicone mat from Dollar Tree. Take it on off the eye. Turn it off. Y'all know I like to let it sit for like a minute and I have been stirring up my um what I'm gonna splatter my apples with the gold I'm gonna splatter with I've been mixing it up because it's almost time to do it I like to do it as soon as I finish dipping and I like to hold my apple over the sink like this and I just tap it with my finger, the brush with my finger, and I turn. I'm showing you now because I may not be able to take my uh, camera to the sink. So, okay, so we done set a minute. And it's time to start dipping. First up. Oh, this is so pretty, y'all. It's so pretty. See how shiny it is already? It ain't even set yet. God damn fly. It's pretty. It's pretty pretty.
I forgot my shot glass mold drop. I'm gonna have to run back there and get it in a sec. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up. Give your girl some thumbs up. Most importantly, make sure you hit that subscribe button. They so pretty. I love to dip apples, y'all. I think I'm gonna be 80 years old still dipping apples and probably at that time just giving it out to the kids in the neighborhood. And I love the way the colors turn out in the end. See, I don't put my colors in in the beginning because cooking the mix can alternate your colors if you put it in that early. And then it causes you to add too much uh, color. See, if you do it halfway, which is the 250, well, that's three-fourths of the way, really. At 250, it ain't cooking that long to alter the color of your, um, the color you want for your apple. So that's why I do not put it in that early. Okay, let me turn my uh, eye back on so I can melt my uh, mix a little bit more. Don't be afraid to, if you feel it stiffening up, don't be afraid to put it on the heat for a few minutes. Well, not a few minutes, about a minute. When you see that first boil, take it out. Because underneath it, it's cooking. You see one piece boiling, it's a lot really boiling under it. So you don't want to leave it on. Trying to make some room, y'all. Look how pretty. Okay. I'm finna go get my um, shot glass mug. Look how pretty they is, y'all. They is pretty. Okay, so I got one um, bubble going on. So I know it's time to take it out. As soon as you see that one bubble, that's enough. I'm putting it back on the eye, y'all, because I'm done dipping the apples. Whatever candy mix is left in this, I put it in my shot mode. Or you can put it in whatever mode you want to. Just try it out. Try your modes out. Because I use the uh, flower mode. I use a lot of different modes, y'all, for my excess candy. It be really whatever the customer wants. Okay, so I got some boiling going on. Quite a few bubbles. See, it's okay for the rest of your mix to bubble just a little bit. You know, before you put it in your molds or whatever. 
But for candy apples, don't let it bubble like this. When you reheat it. Because when it's going to get... Um, I can't describe it. Just don't do it, y'all. Because when you dipping apples in there, you mixing the mix. And you got to remember, you can't mix the mix. Okay. And I'm just going to add this to my mouth. It ain't nothing but a little bit. See, that's why I never uh, record when I do my treats. Because I be rolling. I be like, go, 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 go. Till I'm done. Because you want to make sure you're giving your customers the best. And I don't do videos with treats just to be doing it to do videos. Because I don't like wasting food. And I don't like wasting product. Maybe I'll start doing some little tutorial videos. If I get more subscribers or whatever. That way it pay for itself or whatever. Or y'all can always donate to the channel. For me to get stuff. And I can do tutorials with it. Eat other mix a little bit more. Thought I was gonna have eight shot glasses, but that ain't work out. I'm sorry if it's dragging y'all, cause I this is what I do without the camera. So I just can't be worried about the camera. I got to be worried about doing a good job. So if you're still tuned in, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. All right, let's see, child. Let's see. Okay, now like I said with my splatter, you get a little bit on your brush, you hold it, and you just tap the brush. That's it. Now, I have to do this over the trash can, y'all. So, give me a couple of ticks or over the sink. Okay, y'all, I got my water in my pot um, on the, on, in the sink, filling up with water. So, that's the noise in the back. But I just wanted y'all to see. That's the one I did for y'all. But I just want y'all to see how pretty that purple is before I do it. It's just so pretty. Got a little gold on it already from when I showed y'all. Pretty. Got a little bubble, but like I said, that's okay. It's pretty. Like glass, baby. Alright, family. Let me go ahead and get the other ones glittered up. With some splatter on it. Just a little pop. I don't like doing nothing too plain. But a little pop. A glitter. It's simple. But it's still cute. So hold on y'all. Okay my loves. <clears throat> I am finally finished. That is pretty. Pretty pretty. 
So to explain why I um put my um splatter on right after I dip my apples while they're still hot is because the alcohol dries faster when the apple is still hot or warm. If that make any sense. So I'm able to package them. Um, put the bowls on or string on or whatever I'm finna put them in. It's easier for me to go ahead on and package them if I go ahead on and add my splatter because that has to dry. So the warmer the apple is, the faster it actually dries. So that's why I do it as soon as I finish dipping. Yep, and it's pretty. Bling, bling. And as far as the rest of the luster dust, you can just let it sit there and dry. It's become it's gonna become powder again. And you just add you some more vodka in it, and you good to go again. That dust lasts a long time. It really do. And I never put too much on my orders. Like if you go back and look at my videos or my pictures on Instagram or whatever, you never see me put too much bling bling on my orders. Because uh, you just, I don't know. Uh, like who eats glitter and stuff? I mean, they say some of this stuff is edible. And I try to get the best ones for my customer. Like I spend good money on my gold. That's why my gold bling blings the way it bling blings. So I use the kind like the celebrity um bakers and uh treat makers make. But like I said, I've been in the game for almost six years, so I should know better. So when you know better, you do better. But it don't take a lot. A little goes a long way. It's pretty, y'all. So, I guess it's going to be the end of this video. Y'all make sure y'all thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And if it's something else you want to want me to do, just leave it down in the comments. I will gladly do it for you. But, I'm going to go ahead and get these babies bagged up. Let's see if they dry. Yep. They dry. Yep. So, yep. Let's get these babies bagged up. And I will see you in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. Okay, guys. Bonus clip of the finished product. And that purple turned out beautifully. The apples turned out beautifully. Simple and cute. And so did the little topples. The little topples turned out cute too. Well, that's going to be it, guys. And I will see you in the next one. The next one.